Hello, friends. Thank you so much for tuning into Amrina's session. As always, you know, I get promising notes at your end, and this time as well, a very special guest in Amplify with Amrina. Yes. Can you imagine what I'm talking about today and whom I'm talking about? What a style of perfection, charismatic way of delivering notes at every beat of rhythm is there. The expressions, the hand movements, the body movements, my God, till now, to till this day, the whole world once more gonna dance on the same number if I actually put the music on. Yes, I'm talking about Slumdog Millionaire. What? Jeho song, yes. Just imagine the creation he has done on that song. It's fa fa fabulous work from his side, phenomenal job. He's been awarded for this song as in Filmfare Award, yes. But above all, for three con continuous years, so you think you can dance, he was there choreographing it, not a joke. And then in 2006, Basically, in Jalek Diklaja, season one, he was being noted. But then after that, he just blew the ball out, completely giving a sixer when it was Jeho. And to now, I want to say this. The list is endless. Trust me. I'm, not, I'm just not saying like that. You, can you imagine the movies he has done? Dilka Doctor, Oh Darling Ehe India, Border, Kimat. Bombay Boys, Jai Hind, Pyar Mein Kabhi Kabhi, Oh My God, Sar Faroj, Dil Hi, Oh Dil Hi, Dil Mein, and the list is endless. You know why I'm so excited and super fascinated to call him on stage? Because his dance movements are something to trust on and watch. You will basically swim into the music when he actually takes you on the floor. Thank you so much. With a huge round of applause, kindly welcome Longinus Fernandez, all the way from Mumbai in my show. Thank you so much, dear. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Thank and you. Me, this was not by far one of the best, but the best introduction I have ever heard in my entire life. So oh thank God. you so very much from the depth of my heart for being so generous with your words. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much. You know, whenever I say something, I say directly from heart so i think that counts a lot so tell us about yourself uh, Londonis, because you know i have seen every elder person middle age even youngsters even tiny tots you know actually moving their hands and legs and you know tapping on the beats of jeho because the kind of choreography you have done to that song is simply remarkable and you know it's it's tough to understand. Just share a few things about that and then we will start about your journey. Uh, coming to Jai Ho, I must let the people know that all I could do was to keep it simple. And that is only because of Mr. Danny Boy. All he said was, you know, Launchy, you're, you're very good. You're fantastic. But I wanted to keep it simple so it can make a mark not only to us, but to everybody around us to reckon with because he meant only one thing and he meant that it should have a following and it should be a cult whenever you do something that's exactly what I learned from a man like Danny Boy you know with the kind of stature that he possesses it's something extraordinary and he would be ordinary but with little bit extra to be extraordinary in life and that's exactly what I followed and believe me it was more man than your, your voice yeah. is breaking in the middle when you're moving your hands. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, yeah. now, now it's fine? Yeah, yeah. Now it's fine. Now it's fine. Yes. All he said was, you know, just keep it simple. Keep it nice and clean. So people can follow it and people can relate to it. And that's exactly what I did. And I'm really happy that the way things went off and the way he pulled it off, you know, by getting the music matched, by getting things in sync, by adding those special effects, and making people realize that even 3,000 people can look alike. Wow. 
Superb, superb. Okay, uh, I wanted to know from your end, I know you have been into a choreography from a long, long time, but you know, the perfection and the vari variations in your dance, I have seen that it's a little classy at the same time. It's a little, you know, um, I can say seductive. And at the same time, it is very appealing. And at the same time, it is very subtle. So how can you do so many variations and you know just get the whole thing out in such a beautiful way um uh, as long as what i have just because so you think you can dance it's it was not an ordinary platform it was something very difficult uh, to basically portray what exactly is needed on the stage on the podium when you're there and so many millions of people are watching you can you discuss that a bit of it Yes, certainly, for sure. Like talking about, so you think you can dance. Now, that is the biggest platform the world can ever offer for any dancer or any performing artist. So it's a dream come true for everyone to participate in a show like that. And for me to be present, for me to be invited, it was an honor from within. And I was so happy. I was so elated. And I was, you know, enthralled from within just to go there and choreograph those wonderful bunch of people who are super talented. Everybody was one better than the other. Now, what I did over there, I had to maintain the culture. Your voice is again breaking. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, not least, I don't know I why. Is, yeah. I, yeah. I had to maintain and basically, uh, what do you say, maintain the culture and the essence of India. Okay. Now, when I talk about when I talk about India, it's all about colors. It's all about festivity. It's all about celebration. And that's the kind of dance that appeal to the people and the audience out there in the West. And that is what worked for me. You know? Like when you see elaborate songs like Photo Pe Aisi Baad, or if you see something like Juneli Ratma, you know, these are big songs. Like Ye Dola Re Dola. These are big songs. So what is the biggest, what do you say, uh, quality about these songs is unison in togetherness and all happening at one time in the frame. And that's exactly what I try to portray on the stage in So You Think You Can Dance. Perfect, perfect. So in Jeho, basically, you never uh, uh, you never thought of like, if I don't give a signature uh, a step or a signature posture or something like that, it might not hit as it has to be. Because, you know, talking about Jeho, why I'm repeatedly saying is that because people, a uh, lot of uh, uh, new dancers, upcoming new choreographers, I can say, who are into dancing, they make sure they put a lot of efforts and, you know, too much of strength into their uh, dance so that it should look a little different. But in your case, I have seen that, you know, you have kept it so simple. And but the, but I want to ask you in the in your uh, in your heart, a corner of your heart, you never felt like, you know, if I don't keep uh, a signature step uh, in that way, it might not click. You have it over there, but still, you know what? I, I, I hope you can understand what I'm saying. Right, right, right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I must say one thing, you know, this is for all the viewers out there. It is very easy to try and be difficult and be, you know, it is very, very easy. And it's vice versa. It's also very, very difficult to be simple, but I'm not, I'm not enforcing anything. I'm not trying to imbibe my thoughts and, you know, what do you say, ways and means of uh, attitude onto other people who are coming in. You can do whatever you want, but always remember one thing. Don't try to do different things. Try to do things differently. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Very well said. Very well said. Yes, yes, indeed. Indeed. True, true. So uh, 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 this um, uh, class of uh, putting yourself and showing yourself that you're a choreographer, how did it come into yourself? You know, how, how you started this, why you started? Naturally, everybody has a dream of getting something in, you know, in, in their life. Somebody wants to be a doctor, you know, and like ice officer and so many things. But uh, why you opted uh, as a choreographer? You were inclined to, from the beginning towards music or you had that uh, passion. How did you start this? See, it all started, uh, what do you say, the journey began when I first saw John Travolta. Now, John Travolta is the man who really began the swag, who began the Saturday Night Fever. He began what it meant to be in a party. 
he began the trend of what it meant to wear shining white shoes or black shoes wow. with that nice kind of belt. Yes, you know, so on. yes. So he was a trendsetter. Now, my dad used to, what do you say, uh, be a very flamboyant guy. He, uh, what do you say, passed away too early. But nonetheless, mm. he's always, what do you say, given his blessings to me. And I think I've adapted that from my dad. Oh. You know? Yeah. My dad, oh. was, my, my dad was a very good Latin American and a ballroom dancer. So that little bit of that quality has come into me. So that is what people have seen in Jhalak Diklaja. You know? Yes, yes. Alta, the samba, the jai. Yes, yes. So now, apart from that, when it came to choreography, you know how it is. It's like in India also, people are very, very conservative, especially when it comes to taking up a job or taking up a profession like yes, dance. Yes. It's a complete no-no. Yes. So yes. I was one of the few who began to break through that and change the trend, you know, that there is no scope for Catholics in Bollywood and everyone knows that. But yes. today, after me, there is Cesar Bosco, there is Remo de Souza. Yes. I feel proud from within that I could do something and make a mark to let people also follow suit. And you have to live, you have to live. only one way I can tell you, my dad told me one thing, do what you love and love what you do. But only do one thing for me is that before you become anything, become a wonderful human being. If you can manage to do even half of that, you will be sailing in whatever you want to do. And that's exactly what I have reached somewhere down the line, I'll only get better and I'll get there in the manner that I'm supposed to. That I have actually noticed when I had an interaction with uh, Longinus, I would want all the viewers to listen to this, truly telling you, I don't know him from a lot many years or months, I can say, it's just that few days I know him. But uh, on the very short of knowing him as if like I know him from long time, the kind of gesture and kindness and humble nature he's got, it's par excellence. You need to have that, you know, this is the true leadership of being a human and you have to love humanity as always I do say that to you. And and you have to religiously follow that viewers and this is why I'm here getting all my favorite uh, I can say uh, you know uh, diamonds from all over the world and getting on to you over here in my channel back to you uh, Longinus I would want to know uh, from your end is like you directed a very super hit song uh, uh, bhi to lift karade of Adnan Sami yeah. if I'm not mistaken yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and that is still like everybody whenever they are looking up to the sky and they want to see and say something to their almighty you know God or Bhagwan or Allah whatever they definitely say like Muchko bhi to lift karade so I want to know this how did this come in your uh, uh, I can say in your uh, <laughs> yes capacity or inside you to do this because hardly people can think of you know because this has become so much in I want you to discuss a few things about this too please firstly I must thank Mr. Adnan Sami for entrusting his faith in me when wow. he called me and he told me he said you know Launchness this is the song that I'm doing and it has already been done earlier but I'm making this like a remix and I'm revamping this entire song. It's going to be a long one. And mind you, that song is around about six and a half, seven minutes. So, you know, so I had I had a small issue and I said, Sami Saab, I don't know whether we make this song and we shoot it. And then will it play? He's saying, don't worry about that. The channel will play it because it will have all the ingredients from your end. And he put me in that spot. So I kept up with his thought process. I kept up with his enthusiasm. And I came up with things like no one's business. He, we had the real Shatrugan Sina. Then we had the real Oliver. We had the real Asani. Then we had others, you know, the duplicates of Dharmendra and He Mamalani and Amitabh Bachchan and Dilip Kumar and so on. And yes, so. yes, yes, so yes. It yes. wasn't like it was like an amalgamation of people yes. from various quarters coming in and out and making it like one real kind of a bouquet. You know? And that is what exactly what we presented on the table. And when I told him, okay, this is what we'll do and we'll make it realistic. And that is what he liked. And that's exactly what worked. And when, so, uh, so can you reel, repeat again? Yeah. yeah when, when Danny Boyle saw my reel, the mm -hmm. first song he saw was Lift Karate. And he oh. said, Not unless we are working together because you have got the pulse. Wow. So that's something which really made me feel very, very enlightened from within. Okay, you know that this man has only seen one song and I kept telling him, I said, Danny, sir, have a look. Maybe you'll like something more. He said, no, I've got a 
Your voice is breaking again. Sorry, what did you say? He said, I know for a fact that you will do wonders. So whatever you do is exactly what I've seen. So there's no problem for me. I'm going to take it on from here and we're going to go to the next level. So that was really, really good. Yes, indeed it is. In fact, uh, uh, okay, uh, Longinus, as you are into dance from so many years, um, do you still think that uh, from your side, you need to give some more thing uh, to the society or, you know, to the place you're working or still you're not satisfied or you think there is one thing I would like, like normally anyone who's uh, into this kind of uh, profession, I can say either like singer or dancer or artist, basically people who are more prone into, uh, you know, uh, artistic way and philosophical way when they think. So any point of time you felt like, uh, I think there is one more a number has to come from my side, uh, you know, where I can again bang the uh, uh, list of uh, hitting, saying that, you know, again, you did the best. Or you think you have already done it and there is no need. Or still, you know that something has to be done from your side, little more in respect to dance. In respect to dance, uh, firstly, I would like to say nothing is over till it's completely over and you are over and over. So as long as you're alive and as long as you're living, you have to keep up. You have to. You're, you're never to be satisfied. Okay, boss, I've done it and I'm this and I'm that and I've made it in life. No. Wow. Not that. So like cool. when, I, when I did Dilka Doctor and after that I did Moksh, I did Jan Leva and I, I landed in some spot. Then yes, I did yes. Dilka, it had all the songs. It had all the songs recreated by R.D. Burman. So that was a feather in my cap. And that is yes. close to my heart. You know, yes. you're, you're doing something which is made by a legend, by a maestro, you know, of that level. And those kind of songs are something to die for, to be a part of. So yes. I was a part of it and, I'm, and I was living that. Like after that, then I did Shivai. You know, now when I did Bol Har Har Har, everyone in the industry stood up and, and they took notice and they said, what the hell is this? This is fantastic. It's phenomenal. So I was getting rave reviews from every corner. And I was really, really excited and happy. You know, Mr. Ajay Devgan, he just entrusted his faith in me blindly. He said, okay, fine. Chandan, if you've got this boy, then so When I did Guzarish with uh, Mr. Sanjay Lila Bansali, uh -huh. that was magical with Ashwara Rai. Now that yeah. happened. Only because Aishwara Rai is so good. You know, she's so good. She's so polished. So if you do so much, they make it so much. And when yes. you do so much, it becomes so much. And yes. that's what goes and spreads like wildfire. So that's exactly what has happened with me. It was my childhood dream to do an international musical, a Broadway musical. And I managed to do that now recently in the month of December, January in Canada. I did Bend It Like Beckham with, uh, with Gurinder Chadda. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was, that was my ultimate dream. And now after that, I'm living the dream to continue and pursue it, this dream to take it to the next level where I can do even much more of that. So yes. I want to do more of that. And this is, this is being a childhood dream of mine. You know? sure it happens yes. now. So I'm, I'm always happy because it's never too late. Because at yes. the end of the day, uh, nobody grows old. They only mature. So when you mature in life, you're going wow. to only become a little bit more refined, a little bit more renowned from within. And you should never stop dancing and never stop doing anything because you don't you don't stop dancing because you're getting old. It's the other way around. You're getting old, so you stop dancing. <laughs> Very day, true. Day I stop means I'll be like for a fact I'm getting old. No, you have to be at it. And that's what keep and that's exactly what keeps me going. And I love the way I am, what do you say, attached and you know passionate about my job. And yes. yes, so yes. Whatever yes. it is in life, I'm happy that this hobby became a profession and this profession became a lucrative kind of a what do you say one. You know, it has taken me, it has taken me all over the world. Yes. So I'm thankful to the Almighty and I think I'm blessed. Yes, yes, you are. Truly, you are blessed. I want to know from your end, uh, uh, what is the difference? Like uh, when I was going through your profile, it was mentioned uh, uh, Academy Award for Best Original Song, uh, which, you, which you won for Jai Ho. So what is this Academy Award? Um, and I, I'm familiar about Filmfare Award, but Academy Award for Best Original Song? Yeah, see, 
the best original song was jai ho was not a copy or not a rip off of any song so yeah so normally what happens some people have earlier songs have been done and then they are redone so that is the difference and then when i when i won the fredester award in america it's for film choreography you know how choreography is fused in a film is what choreography is actually all about it's not only about sing song and dance and you do a move no you take the film power like you see ringa ringa now this has all taken the film power with the characterization of of people who have been playing those kind of roles yeah, and how their yeah, journey yeah. has been maintained all through the yes, film yes yes you know, same with jai ho it's a, it's about exaltation so this boy who was a chai wala he keeps answering all those questions because they were actually real lives that he was reading. yes yes very well and said yes it's that entire journey when he gets all what he wanted it's about the, the the happiness you know he was so exuberant when he was dancing you could make out that he actually lived that kind of period in such a way and he fulfilled his dream of getting the girl not yes the... so yes that, very so well said what, yeah. so that is what i want us to understand mhm so when when people when people will understand that that's what makes you different from the rest and then you are amongst the best so if at all you want to be like that then you have to think also in that manner okay when you are going to do choreography on what level are you going to do choreography are you going to take it one notch ahead are you going to do the same kind of step what everyone is doing then it's a different story by itself yes. but if you go to a step which you going to make the world do that then you are going to be a true winner because every man who can walk aspires to dance yes and every man who dances aspires to do better than what he did yesterday yes yes true you true know? very true very true it is like that so you have to you have to reach out choreography is a medium of reaching out to people through your dance and oh very it. well said i mean i haven't heard like this before as what you said it's it's basically reaching out to people uh and uh, basically letting them understand what is the uh, song is all about very true very true very well said uh, amazing uh, okay uh, longinus uh, according to you what is dance according to me and i think according to many people around me dance is all about happiness and shedding your inhibitions you know it is basically about shedding your inhibitions you have to you have to let go you have to feel free it's a it's an it's an expression it's an expression of happiness it can be expression of sorrow it can be an expression of anger it's got everything if you see dance like there is something wow is that this man is like going to do a tandem <laughs> like there's something like you know he is going to be so romantic like you're going to be actually falling in love with him when you're seeing him perform like shahrukh khan when he looks at a girl you actually feel he's looking at you so true so true very true so that is the connect that's why he's shahrukh khan he's connected after rajesh khanna if there's anyone who is connected you know in rom- in romance it is it is shahrukh khan after very rajesh khanna shahrukh khan very true very true i am with you very true like i know people like with action when it comes to taking revenge Amitabh Bachchan was one person. He looked like a one man um, escapist. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, he yes, could, yes. He he could bash up twenty people convincingly. After that, if there was anybody, obviously then there was Dharmendra and Vinod Khanna. But anyone who looks convincing in today's time is Akshay Kumar, is uh, Ajay Devgan. They look so convincing. Like as of now, even Tiger Shroff has followed suit. Yes, he's very true. Is understood and is begin to understand the medium. Okay, what it is. you you know you're a hard looking guy you're going to be hard hitting and then so be it you got a soft face but that doesn't mean you're like one you know what do you say romantic lover boy no he's got he's got the aggression he's got the pulse he's and he's and he's held on to the audience he's got a wonderful audience the audience loves him the audience loves rithik roshan the audience loves varun dhawan they like this kind of people because of the connect you know what i'm saying you have to set a mark and once you set that mark then there's no then there's no turning back because then you have done the needful you have yes. you have held it from where it, re- it really needs to be held on to you know so that's what is actually important 
Yes, yes. Okay, uh, Longinus, I want to know from your end, uh, um, not about Jeho, but about other songs. Or, uh, how do you plan? First, initially you listen to the song and then immediately the first thing which comes in your mind is the steps or it's, it's the, uh, the style and the pattern you will be having in mind or it's, it's the um, actor and actresses who's going to be there with you or uh, you go with the director and producer side and was they said like we need to have this 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 things so now because you are a polished uh, choreographer naturally you know initially I can say in the very first beginning it is a little uh, difficult for people to understand and believe the fact that you know you can deliver so um, uh, I can say it so beautifully and so professionally, but now it's not like that. Like everybody knows you and automatically they will leave everything to, onto you, but how you take forward? I first uh, take the actors in confidence. Like I tell the director, I need to meet your actors. Then I, I what do you say, have a meeting with them and I understand that this is their character. Mm -hmm. They should be going off track. Like when I'll give an example, it's a very good example. Like when I was doing Savarya. So Mr. Bansali said, okay, fine. You can meet my actor. And who was the actor? Yes. Now, right before when I met him, I saw his body language. I saw the kind of person that he is, the personality that he possesses and the character that he was playing. I followed that to the T. That is where you gel well with your director because it's his vision because it's his full film. He's seen the film as a whole. You're coming in as a passing shah. Now you need to know that you need to get with that shah. It should not be a damp squib. It has to be there, shower happily, nicely, and then it should really move on. You know, so that is how you should look at it. Yes, yes, yes. So the same way I'll talk about uh, Papu Khan dance. Now I, Amir Khan told me, you know, you told me a very nice thing I learned from him. He saw me rehearsing and I was doing my bit and he said, hey, Longshi, this is damn good, yeah. Maza aagya. You're superb, yeah. I said, Khan sahab, don't worry. I'll take it to the next level. He said, don't worry, Longji. You may be but whatever I've seen, that is going to work. And I can only tell you what. Sorry, what? That is? Whatever I've seen is going to work. Okay. And believe me, that worked wonders. He saw something in what I did and he felt very good and he felt that this is going with the characters because there was a lot of nuances. There was a lot of funny things, quirky things and he liked and that's actually my nature. I'm a very lovely guy, a fun-loving guy. And full of full of energy, so he liked that energy. He said, "You're bringing some wonderful energy, you know." So I want to see all of that. Like, what would happen in a party? Like, you go to a party back in the day, in the retro time. What's going to happen? You're going to have a drink. You're going to spike it up. You're going to make someone. <laughs> yes. you're, going to do, you're going to do that. So that's yes. one aspect. Then you're going to see a girl. Then you're going to play a prank on her, or if you want to get her, then you're going to woo her in such a nice manner. So you're going to be at your best. So that is exactly what I picked up. And I put it in the song. And they were not great dancers. Sorry to say. They were not great dancers at yes, all. Yes, yes, I know. Khan I can... was a very hardworking, what do you say, a child. And I think he was a he, he was very docile and very humble. And you know, what I liked most about him is that he was grounded. Mm. Yeah, he was very grounded. And I think he's still grounded. Yes, so, yes, know, yes, yeah. yes. So that, that was, that's a very great quality one could possess. He never felt, okay, yeah, yeah, this, this is not good. I can't do better. No, he said, okay, what do you want me to do? I'll do that. Whatever you want me to do, I will do. I will do it with conviction. Now, that is what is important. Yes. You can do things with conviction, then you can convince anybody. Then there's no way you can go wrong at all. Yeah, now, true. This is, exactly, this is exactly what one has to follow and what one has to learn. Uh, Longinus, this actually triggered a, a question in my mind. As you said that, uh, uh, when you see you 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 see actors and actresses, and then you uh, decide. Now I am sitting very far away from you. Uh, can you uh, analyze and let me know that I can dance or I don't, according to you, or what do you think? I'm a good dancer or I'm not. Because you sound confident, I know for a fact that if I put you in front of the camera you will look very, very convincing and you will have that aura. And then I can give you a movement, a step or two. You will do a lot of panache and a lot of elaine and you'll do it in style, which will look nice because you're a graceful person. Now, how you take it to the next level, I will style you up. I will make sure that you wear the correct kind of costume. You have the right kind of attire. You have the right kind of... I'll shoot you through mirrors. 
so you will look glamorous you will look glossy you will look pleasing to the eye now that is what is important now that's a mark of a director like when you see a song of beyonce they are not only dancing there is some bulb there is some kind of mirror there is something hanging there is some kind of portrayal within Accessories, the series yes yeah, yes within yes. within the song itself so that is what enhances that is what it now see when you are doing a song you are not only doing it as a choreographer you are conceptualizing it then you are directing it then you are going to bring things on the table by realizing ki boss i want this kind of backdrop i want this kind of costume i want this kind of lighting so you're getting everything together and if you can pull all of otherwise it will be like just doing a small dance or your dance will be very good but then uh, people should like you know why you want to see a sanjay leela bansali song it looks so opulent the set looks yes, so yes 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 why do you want to see a rajshri film why do you want to see a what do you say yash johar film a karan johar film why because of a reason the reason is the lavishness so you have yes. to make it larger than life and this is where this is where many people have done that many many people have done that the choreography is this much but the paraphernalia the inputs the, and everything is like a lot a lot yeah and it makes yes. it more awesome more better yes yes, yes. Well I am very confident to hear that you understood that uh, I, I can dance and that is uh, the speciality of it and that I'm going to tell you later uh, not uh, not to prolong about it but I'm so happy that uh, honestly telling uh, uh, Londoners uh, you have that uh, um, eye of uh, knowing people even though I haven't met you but still the kind of uh, explanation you gave me in respect to uh, what i have asked you it's perfectly correctly 100% match to whatever you have said i'm not saying because you are my guest but seriously you are right okay uh, well uh, before leaving i would want you to convey a message from your side to our audience to our viewers whoever is listening to you and uh, yeah any positive notes or anything from your end will be perfectly okay i will i will say something which is very very meaningful for all the people who want to aspire to break, to break through their thoughts that they have been you know what do you say uh, bogged down with and move on and live on with their life do what you love and love what you do that is the first thing and the second thing is that if you are getting into that first step before getting into choreography Uh, Now, sorry you can, you, can you repeat the second point because it's uh, yeah. it was little, uh, yeah like the person who gets into dancing is going to take the first step before getting into choreography because towards choreography will be dancing so if you are a good dancer you will always be definitely you will be a choreographer in time to come but you only go back sorry again whether you be yeah whether you be a good choreographer or not is irrelevant but at the moment you need to get your dancing skills right for that reason a line for everybody who's aspiring to get into the dance flow you need to practice you need to practice like you've never won and you need to perform like you've never lost wow bravo very well said yeah. very well said you need to do that because if you can do that then i am sure wherever you want to reach you will reach in life you need to dance as if you haven't won you need, no you need to practice practice as if you have never won as if you have never won okay and you need to perform like you have never lost wow so first Good. you need to practice before performing so you need to put in those what do you say hours you need to put in that kind of effort because see this dancing is the stepping stone that will take you and that will lead you towards choreography because when you become a choreographer whether then you realize whether you're good or you're going to get there or you're going to get better will take some time because that's an that, that is that is also another journey yes 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 yeah it's a journey and always remember success is not a destination it's a journey so whatever you will do it's only going to be a journey which is going to be remaining with you and only you for the rest of your life yes 
as the way you know you uh, choreograph i think uh, the kind of way you talk is so uh, uh, appealing and mesmerizing really i enjoyed every every second of it london is uh, uh, truly telling you i'm so super excited uh, to get you on board and uh, hopefully inshallah i'll meet you if i come down to mumbai i will not lose this chance of meeting you seriously <laughs> thank it's, you so much it's, it's a given that when you come to mumbai whenever you are here you're my guest and you're not only a guest your family from here on you're you so most much. welcome because the doors of my house will always be op open thank for you. you thank you yes. oh so sweet of you thank you so much i i understood the whole thing when you know i got this flying kiss on the very uh, first shot of mine uh, because uh i am basically a human who is very fun loving and i love uh, uh you know getting new friends and then making them my special ones all the time and i'm so happy and obliged that uh, longinis fernandez has given me a chance uh for this session especially in spite he's being really busy but i'm so happy for that i wish him good luck success prosperity and may almighty bless him in every walk of life with health wealth and all his family as well and thank you so much uh, londonese for getting on board in my session amplify with amrina viewers i would want you to watch the session and kindly send your comments down below he is indeed a person to remember and remarkable achievement up till now but is still he is very down to earth this is the this is very important and that's why he's sailing still in this difficult times and once again stay tuned stay home and stay blessed and keep loving me and whoever haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do that if you think i'm doing the best job till then take care bye 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 london is take care dear good luck all the good best good luck to awesome. you too thank you